All right, introducing Project 67DC. That's a Dodge Cornette. If you remember Bill from uh, Project Beep Beep, uh, he has added a couple more Mopars to his list, and this is a 1967 Cornette. You're taking a look at it right now. Um, Beep Beep still uh, still there. Uh, had to undergo some uh, some steering column uh, work, and the Bill's knocking that out really quick. Um, but this is a beautiful car, two door. Uh, I think, believe it's a 383 engine in it. You'll see that here in a minute. Um, but I love the lines of this car. Uh, big old long trunk. Um, I love the tail lights. You can see the tail lights there. Those are awesome. You'll see those here in a minute. Bill will fire it up, and you can watch it. It's just a, a pretty beautiful car. You can see beep beep up there at the top. Uh, Bill has a lift uh, where he keeps a couple cars on top and one underneath. Um, but Beep Beep's doing really good. This car is in such beautiful shape. Um, the Cornette. Love those lines. All that chrome. Rocker panel molding. The tires are just the perfect width. It's dual exhaust. I think you'll see that here in a little bit on one of his pictures coming up. Now, I don't know if Bill wants me to call this a project because this car is mostly done, so it's not like he's rebuilding it. But uh, if he doesn't like the name, we'll change it up. There you get a good shot of the engine. And we'll have it here running here in a couple minutes. Engine base so clean. Engine's clean. You can eat off that thing. Has AC. Quick peek at the trunk here. Got the original mat in the back. I did that with my 70 uh, Mustang, but actually the original checkered mat for the back trunk. Original jack still in there. A little bit of surface rust it gets water in from time to time, but you see the drain plugs are there. Um, they look pretty. It's not rusted through, just a little, little staining. Spare tire wheel well. That's all in perfect shape. Now you're going to get a look at the interior. The interior is beautiful. Love the white. Love the door panels. You can see the door panels over there with the white and the black. You'll get a better shot here of the dashboard here in a minute. I just love dashboards. You guys know I love dashboards, especially painted dashboards. But uh, Mopar, Dodge, Plymouth, they had some beautiful dashboards back in the 60s. Um, this one uh, is kind of pointed in the middle. Um, look at that. That's a beautiful interior. Looks like no one's ever sat in it. Lap belts only. That's what you expect in a 60. A little bit of the underpinnings here. It looks to be in super good shape. No, uh, you see that looks like undercoating there. And again, no rust, no holes. I mean, this car is pretty much, uh, pretty much perfect the way it is. See the dual exhaust. That might be a Y on there. I, haven't, I don't see a good shot of that, but it might be just a Y exhaust. But it comes out two different places in the back, so that's cool. See, going up to the headers. Look how nice and clean that lower part of the engine is in the suspension. That's amazingly clean. You get another look at it. Super clean. There's the other side. A 
Another shot underneath. And here's the rear. Love the lines. Lots of glass in this rear room window, lots of glass. A little bit of curve in that windshield, I like that. And now you're gonna get another close up of the of the instrument panel. It's just it's just cool. And you'll see the lights down there blink when he has the four ways on, the little rectangles on the other side. So Oh, the cool part is the turn signal indicators. You'll see those in a couple minutes. Look at that. That's just beautiful. I think uh, Bill just got done adding the gauges in the bottom. You can see the AC unit, original radio. Um, it's just it's just such a nice car. Now here come here you go. Now there isn't that a big long dash. I just love that thing. You see the AC there. You see vents, new gauges drop down underneath aftermarket gauges. And I'll stop talking here in a second so you can listen to it. 